All right, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, and I do mean over-the-top beautiful pitch postcard picture perfect day here in the end times in paradise in the Point Lonesome Swamp. Uh, we are, little dog and I are enjoying our first sunset of 2022. It is Saturday, January 1st, 2022. And we have had a crazy busy day. Oh man, and getting ready for to head out of town for a week, so I need to catch my breath with my first my first sunset margarita for the end times in 2022. And uh, I've just been thinking all day there's something I'm supposed to be doing on January 1st every year. And uh, I remembered it is time for my broken record Doomsday Predictions. Hambones, no shit, Sherlock. Doomsday Predictions for 2022. And so if for anyone who's been hanging with this channel for uh, 1 to 12 years, you will know that this is just pretty much my, my same broken record uh, rant every year. You know, I like to go listen to the one that I did the year before to see uh, how many of them I hit. Uh, and I have not gone and done that, but guys, I mean, if you've ever heard one of my No Shit Sherlock Doomsday Predictions, uh, you know, if you have ever heard one, well, you know what I'm getting ready to say pretty much take everything that I predicted for 2021, take every one of my predictions, and just put them on steroids, put them on an exponential curve, and uh, you will pretty much have this rant. Every single indicator that this planet is collapsing uh, is only going to ratchet up in 2022. Uh, and, 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 you know, I mean, I can go down the broken record list. Uh, no shit, Sherlock. It's going to be more of the same. Uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, we're going to have, let's see, okay, guys. I predict the uh, greenhouse gas levels. Where are they now? Right at... 420 parts per million. I don't even know where they are. They will be 424. We are going to pump more greenhouse gases into the atmosphere in the year 2022 than we did in the year 2021. We are go going to burn more oil in 2022 than we did in 2021. And I am thinking, although you might not see it admitted to, we are going to burn more coal. More coal will be burned in 2022 than in 2021. And we might as well throw in gas, too. So my guess is all of the big four fossil fuels we will burn more of in 2022 than in the year 2021. And this is not really a prediction as well. It is a prediction, but uh, it's just echoing someone else's prediction. Someone like the IMF or somebody predicting for the first time in human history, the uh, world economy, the GDP for this planet will hit 100 trillion dollars in 2022 we are going to hit the 100 trillion dollar mark uh on, on on this planet as the global industrial economy uh d just shrugs off all of this corona panic bullshit and goes right on doing what it does which is growing at an exponential rate uh, $100 trillion that the, you know, all of this bullshit talk 
about uh, about the declining birth rate. Uh, there will be, I don't know, what is it, uh, one and a half, uh, and how, how many goddamn million people are born every week? Uh, fuck, man. There are going to be more people living on this planet with more disposable income than they've ever had uh, in 2022 than they did in 2021. Uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, you know, the, the ice caps on both ends of the fucking planet we are going to go right down the goddamn toilet. There's going to be more and more articles about the goddamn doomsday glacier uh, starting to break up down there in Antarctica. Now, I, do, I am going to say in the case of California, we are not going to have quite the wildfire season uh, that we had in 2021 that there will be less acreage burned in California, but there will be more acreage burned in the Amazon rainforest. You know, uh, deforestation on this planet, particularly tropical deforestation, the tropical rainforest are going to lose more, we're gonna lose more old growth tropical rainforest off of this planet in the year 2022 my guess is it could be, you know, it's pretty much any year in history uh, that and on everywhere there's tropical rainforest. Uh, tropical rainforests are going to be under full-fledged frontal assault uh, in, in, in the year 2022. Every single marker, you know, these uh, bio... Uh, biodiversity goals. Uh, every single one of the United Nations biodiversity goals are going to fail uh, in, in, in the year 2022. Uh, on every single level, every one uh, uh, of these biodiversity goals are going down the toilet uh, as the sixth mass extinction just continues, you know, going right into overdrive. Uh, there's only going to be an exponential increase in the pace of the sixth mass extinction. Uh, this is uh, this isn't rocket science, people. This is anybody you know who wants to spend uh, about an hour a day, even of that hell. If you want to spend thirty minutes a day uh, looking at the fucking uh, handwriting on the wall, uh, the, these predictions are no shit, Sherlock. Uh, Every single ecosystem on this planet uh, it, 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 it is going to continue to degrade. Uh, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna predict about 300 new species are going to be added to the IUCN red list. Uh, of course, uh, there are going to be more environmental activists and land defenders or whatever you want to call those guys. More of them are going to be killed, imprisoned, uh, sued by these planet eaters. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be another deadly, bloody year for anybody going up against these motherfucking planet eaters. Uh, probably the lucky ones are the ones who get a goddamn bullet through their head. Uh, you know, now I am, of course, going to, uh, we're going to have to look 
at the C word, at where is Corona Panic going uh, this year? Now, this one, it, 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 I, I have to say, making any predictions on where they're going to take this goddamn Corona Panic, where, where the fucking fear-mongering uh, over this goddamn corona panic. Now, I do predict, although you're never going to hear about this, that the silent majority, uh, the silent majority about this corona panic, that, uh, you know, just the average person, uh, the longer they try to drag out this distraction, that fewer and fewer people are, are, are going to be paying attention to this shit. Uh, more and more people are, are, are going to uh, admit that this is one more fucking wolf out of outside the goddamn cave door we got to learn to live with. But uh, I don't put anything past the, the infamous they, whoever they are, to, uh, to keep uh, pumping this uh, fear pedal. Uh, it's just, uh, it, it, you know, they're, they're a bunch of fucking pit bulls. Uh, now what I will say is, uh, okay, that we're going to see more suicides. Uh, and the, you know, the suicide rate, the, uh, drug overdose rate, uh, you know, all of the, 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 the mental health the mental and psychological uh, health fallout from uh, the corona panic. Every one of those rates uh, as a knock-on from the corona panic are going to continue to uh, skyrocket. Uh, the failure rate among, um, uh, among students, um, among young students, you're going to see more and more and more children. Uh, the, the average, whatever you want to call that, uh, is, it, is it IQ or, or however they measure success in, in, in school is going to continue to plummet. We are breeding a, uh, we are breeding a new generation of dumbed down, uh, you know, panic sheeple, the whole new generation of kids who are going to be terrified of getting together with their uh, friends and stuff. Uh, it's uh, also all of the knock-on effects of the corona panic are, are, are going to be cranking up. But as far as the economic hit, that's going to recover. We are going to see the, the, the fucking stock market uh, is, is going to go right on. Would not surprise me if the fucking Dow Jones Industrials uh, hit a new record high in 2022. I don't pay any attention to that shit, but I'm just assuming that uh, we could see some new record highs in the stock market. Uh, it, it's going to be pedal to the fucking metal. We're going to you know, try to work out this supply chain crunch. Uh, all that's going to be yesterday's news. Uh, Jesus Christ. What's going to go on in the space alien uh, department? The, the mainstream media is going... Now, I did call that one uh, wrong. I actually thought they might pull the space alien invasion card uh, last year. They never pulled the alien invasion card, but what they are going to just start doing is inculcating us all to, you know, the disclosure. Uh, you're going to see more and more disclosure of uh, getting getting uh, the population of this planet groomed to accept the reality of space aliens. Uh, you figure out for yourself why would the infamous they uh, want the entire planet to accept the reality of space aliens. It's so for, for so they can so of course we will support 
a Space Force number one, and and my God, uh, when uh, they can get the entire planet locked down in fear mode, thinking the fucking space aliens are coming after us. So, are they going to pull the alien invasion card? Probably not. Uh, however, as I say, it will just be a continuing process of, of getting folks uh, used to the idea that uh, there are space aliens visiting Earth. They're not going to come right out and admit that, but you know what, uh, they're not going to completely deny it anymore. Uh, this is all a uh, part of the plan to keep us locked down in fear. Take it from an alien abductee. Uh, what else? Uh, on a personal level, I, I see absolutely no hope that Hambone Little Tail is going to find a Doomer chick in the year 2022. I see absolutely no sign that uh, Hambone Little Tail is going to have sex in the year 2022. Uh, for myself, uh, I see uh, I, I see a lot of uh, loneliness, uh, boredom, depression. You know, just the usual uh, dealing with fucking bullshit that we all uh, deal with. Um, my physical ailments are only going to get worse and worse. My fucking shoulder problem is going to get worse and worse. The sciatica in my leg is only going to get worse and worse. Uh, I'm, I will be one year older and uh, the aging process is not for pussies. I will continue to turn into a helpless, decrepit, uh, celibate, lonely old man. Uh, I, I see uh, no fucking uh, hope for any level of... Uh, I, 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 I see no joy uh, in, in my life. Uh, the next year, it's just going to be, I'm going to be out there, getting out there and enjoying it the best way I can, uh, while I still can. Uh, I have absolutely no clue where I am going to be one year from today. No fucking clue. I, I could just, I, I, I could be sitting on this dock uh, in one year. I could be in Auroville, India uh, one year from now. Uh, and I just see, now I will be in New York. Uh, so New York will be happening. Bugs in a Jar Farm, that will be up and going. But uh, once that winds down for the fall, uh, I, I have no fucking clue uh, where I'm going to be, who I'm going to be with. Uh, I just expect it's just, it's just going to be another fucking uh, drag of a year as I just get older and lonelier and more depressed. And uh, anyway, the bottom line... You know, I, I, I'm just just pulling this shit off the top of my head, guys. I mean, this is no shit Sherlock stuff. Uh, the bottom line is that on January 1st of 2023, one year from today, we are going to be a hell of a lot more fucked than we are today. We are going to be one year closer to doomsday. Uh, there, there is nothing that has swerved me from the path. I, I, I hold out exactly zero hope uh, for this fucking species and this planet. We're not going to stop. 
uh, till we have annihilated all of our fellow earthlings, and, and then we're gonna and, and then we're gonna annihilate ourselves. It's not gonna happen this year, as they say. There's gonna be more fucking humans on the fucking planet a year from today than there are today, which is the number one reason we're gonna be more fucked uh, in a year from the, on January first, 2023, than we're fucked on January first, uh, 2022. And that's the bottom line. Every, every single indicator, every single indicator is, is that this planet is going to continue going down the fucking toilet. So, uh, anywho. Did I miss any? I'm sure I'll think of all of these ones that I that I missed, but uh, I can catch up in my state of the planet address here in a uh, in a few weeks, whenever uh, that demented old fart Joe Biden, good God, uh, is that motherfucker gonna make it uh, till January 1st, 2023? Who the hell knows? What the hell that motherfucker is, is looking at this year? Uh, Jesus, but I can't wait to, after his State of the Union, I will be back with Hambone's State of the Planet 2022. But it's going to sound a lot like this rant I just finished. So once again, I will end this rant with uh, Get Out There and enjoy it while you still can. Drink all the goddamn margaritas over over beautiful sunsets that, that you can uh, wrap your hands around, guys. Because we're fucked. We're fucked. That is the bottom line. Anyway, we will uh, come back uh, January 1st, 20. 23 and see how good I did with my predictions. I'm back to my margarita and watching this beautiful sunset. These wading birds flying in for the night. Bye guys.